In today's video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of heating your chicken coop during the winter. Hi, my name's Melina, and welcome to my channel, Homesteading Farm Life. Our videos are all about homesteading, our 40-acre farm, and our animals. Follow our journey and learn how to homestead on your farm or in your backyard. Be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link below. Heating your chicken coop during the winter brings a lot of negative and positive attention. So in this video, I want to talk to you about the benefits and the drawbacks of heating and not heating your coop. First off, we have to address the big elephant in the room. Using electric heaters and heat lamps in your coop can cause fires. I know a lot of people do it and a lot of people swear by it and a lot of people are taking a risk every day by turning those on. So before you heat your coop with an electric heater or a heat lamp, you really need to think twice, do some research and find other alternative ways. Chickens actually do pretty good in the winter with the cold. They do a lot better in the winter than they do in the summer. Heat is um, harmful to your chickens where in the cold you can do things to help them keep warm and they do things themselves to help themselves stay warm and healthy through the winter. Chickens huddle together to keep warm in the winter whenever they roost. They huddle together and they puff out their feathers. By puffing out their feathers, they're creating this insulating layer between their skin and their body that is helping to keep them warm and keep the chickens around them warm. Also, whenever they're roosting, they will puff up and sit down on their feet. This is preventing frostbite and then they'll tuck their head underneath their wing, which is also keeping them warm and preventing frostbite from getting on their waddles and their combs. Whenever you have a lot of chickens in your coop, they're going to naturally produce body heat and this is going to help keep your coop warm as long as it is well insulated. By not keeping your chicken coop warm, you are going to reduce your egg production. Your chickens are not going to produce as many eggs um, anyway because of the length of the days. And then they're not going to produce as many eggs whenever they're cold because they're using their um, bodies to keep themselves warm and not for egg production. Whenever you do not heat your coop, you risk the chance of your eggs freezing and then they're unusable. A cold coop also causes your water in the coop to freeze, which doesn't allow your chickens to have access to water all day long because you're not out there monitoring it all day long. And so not heating your coop will cause the water to freeze. Not heating your coop is bringing your chickens into being susceptible to getting frostbite. If your chicken coop is cold during the winter, your old and your sick birds, they're gonna recover a lot slower. They're using their body to keep themselves warm and not for healing purposes. What I suggest to you is to do your research. Find what's right for your environment, your chickens, and your weather. Not every place is the same. Here in Illinois, we do get pretty cold weather. However, if you're in Canada or Wisconsin, it's gonna be a lot colder than it is here. So do a little bit of research, determine what is best for your flock, your family, and I would winterize your coop from using that knowledge. Share with me your thoughts. What do you or don't you winterize your coop and why or why not? I would love to see your videos and your photos. Please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching today's video on homesteading farm life. Please share this video with your friends and click that thumbs up button below. If you're interested in homesteading and farming, why don't you join our journey by clicking the subscribe button and then choosing the little bell icon so you never miss a video. Maybe you're interested in more than just watching homesteading videos. 
Maybe you want to make some homesteading friends. Why don't you join me on Facebook in my homesteading Facebook group. I will include a link to the group down in the video description.